Hey YouTube, I'm back. Well today, what I'm going to do for you guys today is I want to do some oxtails. Some smother oxtails with some rice. Oh, that's going to be so good. Okay, which let me uh, get my oxtails. Okay, you guys, which, you know, I got to let these oxtails at least cook a couple of hours, right? At least two to three to tender how you want it to be. But, okay, I didn't season them and everything. This is how they're supposed to look. You know, you can turn that good old flavor. Look at that. Look at there. They look like they already been in there, don't they? Look at there. So, this is how they're supposed to look. Okay. And what we're going to do. You can wash my hands. Need some flour. Need some flour, you guys. A big thing of flour up in here somewhere. But this will work. Okay, that's what we're gonna do. Let's get it. Let's get it. Okay, what I'm gonna do first, this is what I use. For my oxtail, you need that witch's sauce, sauce, witch's sauce, sauce. You need not this smoke, not this smoke, not this smoke. How did that get there? You're gonna need some brown, okay? Brownie, a little suey sauce, a little suey sauce. Okay, a little paprika, a little garlic powder, a little seasoning salt, and I like a little steak seasoning in there. Or you can put whatever seasoning you, to your taste. But this is to my taste. But I'm saying you want some good, good Teresa oxtails. Listen to me. Okay, we're gonna set this over here. Okay, let me get this grease. Alrighty, let me put this in the garbage. Okay, I'm gonna pull this grease in here. Get this fire started. That's cool right there. But I think I might need a little, 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 little more. Just a little bit more. in here okay so while I'm letting that grease get hot put that right there I hope you guys had a good great day today mine's coming along a little okay I hope y'all had a great day today Okay, so what I'm going to do, I'm going to pour this flour in here. I don't need a lot of flour, but if I do, I'll get some more. Okay, let me get my oxtails. And I'm going to take this plate, I'm going to set this plate right here. Back. And I use, oh, this is what I can do. Let me set this plate right here. I'm going to grab this right here. Set this right here. Okay. So this is what I'm going to do. See this big, beautiful oxtail? We're going to take this oxtail, which I got my oxtails. I had them marinated in my onions. You know, you take your onions, chop them in little fine squares. About like this size. And I'm let them marinate in there. Overnight. You ain't really got to do overnight if you don't like. You can let it at least marinate though. You got to at least let it marinate for five to six hours though. Okay. So this is how you want to have your oxtail. All the way around. Okay. We're going to do all of them just the way I just did that one. 
Make sure your flower base all the way around, okay? It's the Teresa way, baby. Yes. So we're going to make sure we get this all the way around. I'd be glad when we can go outside and like just go places. I can't wait. I know y'all can't because this is running me crazy. And I ain't trying to get fat. I want to be there. We do, baby, come out and I'll be out there working like this. I be want to be walking like this. Hey. Okay. I want to look good. Okay. So you take these, which, you know, your, your, your little small oxtails, like these here, you really ain't got to worry about them because they're going to get cooked anyways. They're going to get tender anyways because they're smaller. But it don't matter, which I still do all of mine. Make sure they still get my base of flour because the base of flour makes the gravy. Yes, baby. Okay. Take these oxtails. Take them on around. Okay. It's my little last one right here. Okay, I see my grease. Feel like this good. Yes. You hear that steam? Yes. Yes, that means that grease is hot, baby. Okay. Watch this flower off my hands. Okay. Okay, so I'm going to bring this eye down. Okay, so this is what we're going to do. We're going to take this oxtail. And you want to make sure. See how I'm sticking it in there? You want them to stand up, though. Sure, they stand up because you want them brown all the way around. That helps. That helps it. Get tender real fast. You heard? Yes. Mm, mm, mm. I just drop them on in there. It don't make a difference. But I'm going to drop them on in there. Okay. So we let them. I'm about to be about flipping them in a minute. Because, you know, you just want to, we just browning them. Browning them. Like, oh, yeah, see that brown? You just brown them all the way around, yes. We don't want to burn them or stop them because when you make your gravy, you don't want the gravy to be bitter, tasting like burnt. <laughs> I don't want to burn mine. These things too expensive to be burning, you feel me? Okay. So you see I got these brownies. Right? So this is what Miss Teresa finna do. Why them browning? Yes. Oh yes. This is finna be off the chain. So you see what I'm finna do? I'm finna take them out. See? See how pretty and brown them fried? I'm gonna take them on out. Yeah, we're gonna take them on out. Turn this on low. We're gonna take these out of this grease, hot grease. Yes. Oh, they look so good. My thing is, tomorrow I'm gonna cook you guys a soul meal, soul dinner. But we're gonna see. I'll be, oh, well, my days be like up and down, up and down, up and down. Okay, this is what Miss Teresa's gonna do. I'm gonna set this grease right here, which I use this grease, but I'm gonna use a little of this grease. Okay, I'm gonna take this right here. And, I ain't got this right here. We need this one right here. Okay, take a, this grease. Take 
right? Now I'm gonna use a little of this grease, this grease right here too. All of it is the same. I just like to add a little older grease to my gravy and make better gravy to me. Cause this fresh grease right here, with this old grease right here. So I like to mix a little old grease with a little fresh grease. Get the old grease cut up. You hear me? Okay, so I'm gonna do this. I'm just gonna throw a little seasoning. Okay. I think I got one open already. Yes, I do. Okay, I'm gonna throw a little seasoning here. Just a little bit. Okay? Because we're gonna make this gravy, baby. A little season salt. Okay. A little black pepper. And we're gonna take a little garlic sauce. What I have up there. Sprinkle a little bit in there. And a little paprika. Because paprika is just like the Red peppers, green peppers, onions, seasoning, baby. Seasoning. Okay. Alrighty, now. I'm going to take, 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 take this here. I need to empty this. I'm going to empty this right there. Okay. Scared to use the flower. Yeah. Okay. I'm gonna take this little scooper. Matter of fact, no, I want to use this one. Let me use this right here. We're gonna do about a half a cup of flour. No, I ain't gonna get yeah, about a half a cup of flour. I'm gonna do a half a cup of flour. Put down in there, okay? Half a cup of flour. Sprinkle it on in there. Okay? Gonna turn that fire up a little bit. Okay? We're gonna take the spoon right here and we're gonna swirl it in there. You're just gonna swirl it in there with the grease, okay? Don't you guys, this is the way it's gonna look. Okay? But until your gravy gets brown, pretty and brown, like caramel brown. Yes, okay. Should get caramel. See mine right now. Mine look like peanut butter. That's the way you want it to look, though, like peanut butter, you see? Okay. So I'm just going to add just a little more of my little oil I got from my oxtails. Okay. Just a little bit. Okay, we're going to stir it. Yes, I want it to get brown. And you can make your gravy how thick you want your gravy to be. You want thick, make it thick. You heard? You can make it thick. Okay, I'm gonna take about another like a tablespoon. A tablespoon. Sprinkle back in there, but I want mine to be a little thick. I want my gravy to be a little thick, baby. Okay. 
Okay, let me keep on. Get stirred. You know, if you keep it up high, make your gravy thicker. Bring your eye down and loosen up the gravy. To how you want it, your gravy to be. Okay? So I'm going to turn this down. Okay? Now these are my onions that I had based. I had let my oxtail baste in. So I'm going to take these onions, some of them, and I'm going to throw them in there. Okay? One minute. Okay, okay. Take this bell pepper, baby. Yes. Okay. I'm going to take this bell pepper. And put a little bell pepper in there. You want you want to get a get that 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 seasoning. You want to get all of it. You don't want a little bit of seasoning. You want all of the seasoning. You, you feel me? You want to taste all your seasoning. So I just take this green bell pepper because we we're not doing like sometimes like if I'm in a hurry or something and I have to do the oxtail. You can do them. Different. You can go. You can do it like it's not scratch. So I wouldn't call it scratch. It's just a quicker way of getting the gravy done. You know. And you can uh, get you like two cans of cream mushroom, and you can get you uh, two packs of brown gravy. Chop your onions and your bell peppers up. Okay. So this is what we finna do. Yeah. Okay, we're gonna take this here. Yeah, my measuring cup. We're gonna take. We're gonna take one cup of um, water here. Just put that in there because you know you want to get your juice. Oh yes, oh yeah. You want to smell it? Yes. I'm going to smell in it. Okay, so I'm going to turn my eye up just a little more. Okay. Oh, my goodness. Okay. You're going to take your oxtails now. You're going to put them in, in, in this gravy, for this homemade gravy from scratch. Not, not no made up gravy out the can, out the pack, none of that. This straight homemade gravy, baby. Okay? But like I was saying, sometimes when I'm in a hurry, and if I got a taste for some oxtails, you can get two cans of cream or mushroom, two brown packs of gravy, put that mushroom, pour it out, both of them in a bowl, add your brown gravy packs in the bowl together, stir it up to it turn brown. Put your oxtails in the pot, chop your onions up, put them on top. Pour the gravy on top of your oxtails, the rest of your onions and peppers. Put them on top, cover and let them simmer for at least two hours. I at least give myself two hours. And once I check my oxtails after two hours and check them, make sure they looking like I want them to look. Yes, baby. Oh, my goodness. This is where I'm at. I want mine with my, I'm going to do it with some rice. On top of some rice, baby. Mm, mm, mm. Be like, oh my goodness. Okay? So I would just, in like I'm doing now, I'm making sure my gravy colors get in there. Feel me? You want to get all on your oxtails. The oxtails going to make gravy too anyway. So I'm going to show you this how right now, it ain't cooking yet, but this is how your gravy is supposed to look, but it's going to get browner and thicker, okay? So I'm going to take the rest of these onions, and I'm going to sprinkle them up on top. You hear me? Yes, baby, yes. 
Take the rest of it. This ain't nothing but brown. Yeah. All right. That on top of there. I'm gonna put this in the sink. I'm gonna put this in the sink. I don't like all these dishes all in my face like that. Okay. Take that right there. Take that over there. Okay. I'm gonna take a little black pepper now. And I'm gonna take this black pepper. And I'm gonna sprinkle it. Okay. Okay, one more thing I likes to do. I likes to yeah. I like my green peppers. Once I get them onions on top, once you get them onions on top, chop that off, take that green onion. Just pow, pow, pow. Just take that green onion, cut it up. Cut it up. Take the green onion, chop it up. Yes, sir. Chop it up. Yes. Okay. Oh, yes. So we don't worry about that part. Okay. I'm going to take these green onions. Woo. And you're going to sprinkle them all on top with the other onions. Oh, get yeah, that flavor. Oh, my goodness, you guys. And see how that gravy getting thick? See, this is what I'm trying to tell you guys. See how that gravy getting thick? That's homemade gravy. That's going to be that good gravy, okay? Yes, baby, yes. Okay, so I'm going to take another. About like a half a cup. Half a cup. And pour it on in there. Okay? So we're gonna time this baby. Yes. Oh my goodness. Yes. Mm-hmm. Okay, so we're gonna put it, turn it about down a little low, about right here. And we're gonna let put that top on there. And we're gonna let it go. Okay? My still's gonna go. Yes, sir. And that's what I'm gonna do. I think I'm gonna do I'm gonna make a pot of rice. If you guys don't know how to make rice, watch me. Which I have my measuring cup, but I love to measure my rice. In these cups, you give me the perfect rice. Yes. I have my measuring cup, but I like lemon cups, okay? I got white rice and Uncle Ben rice, but I like Uncle Ben rice. But you can do white rice too, so I'm gonna do white rice because I'm doing these oxtails. You feel me? Okay. So, we're gonna open this rice up. Right here. No. Right here. All right. So those that who don't know how to make rice, don't feel bad because everybody got to learn how to make something. You have to learn. This is a cup. Okay. I take one cup because I'm not making a big thing of rice. I'm going to use this one cup of rice, okay, and I'm going to do one cup of water, two cups of water, and I do one and a half cup of water, okay, this is going to be the best rice. Okay, so I'm gonna set this rice right here. Put that over there. Turn this rice on right here. Okay. We're gonna need. Oh, that right here. We're gonna need a teaspoon of salt. Put that teaspoon of salt in there. 
Okay? Teaspoon of salt. And what I do, with my cooking oil, I always measure by the cupping. You can do, though, a teaspoon of um, cooking oil. I always put my, my using my top and measure it with my eyes. But I make sure it's a teaspoon. Teaspoon, baby. That's all you need. Okay? We're going to take that. And we're going to make sure that little good vegetable oil and that salt get all up in it. Yes. Okay. And I don't know if it's the right hot top. No, it's not. Bum, bum. Okay. okay. This off. Okay, so you want to make sure. <coughs> excuse me. You want to make sure your rice is close no air getting in you want that good perfect rice so bam so this is what we're gonna do we're gonna let this rice cook put that right there and won't cook too fast don't make it cook too fast and your oxtails cook them on high like well i'm not doing mine in the oven i'm doing them on top of the stove so Keep them like, I'll say like, not high, medium. Keep them on medium high. And let them cook for two hours, okay? But if you had a, if you're cooking them in a slow cooker, you have to let them cook some hours. At least four to six hours. But when you're doing them on the stove, the stove cook quicker to me. So, we're going to let these babies, oh! Dance up in here, you hear me? Cause I'm doing it all for you, for you. I'm doing this all for you, yeah. So let's get it, I'll be right back. Okay, you two. Sweet Teresa is back. Okay. You know, I said, I showed you step by step. And I'm going to tell you guys again. This is the season you use. The browning. The Wilshire. The soy sauce. Paprika. Some parsley flakes. Steak seasoning with some seasoned sauce and black pepper, okay? And don't forget to know how to put that flour on there before you fry it. And this is what, this is your results. Do that, do them oxtails look good to you? And I did a little asparagus with it. Asparagus. Asparagus with it. Mm -mm. Do that didn't look delicious to you, my YouTubers? I'm going to try to get it together for you guys. I did it all for you. For you. For you. Okay. I love you guys. I want you guys to hit that subscribe, that notification button, that like, and that bell. And Miss Teresa, yeah. Gonna get it for you guys on her next presentation. Love you.